Suzuki Motorcycle India Private Limited is the latest two-wheeler manufacturer to join BS6 bandwagon. The Suzuki Jixer and the Jixer SF now get the Bharat State 6 treatment after the Axis 125 and now have been launched at respective prices of Rs 1,11,871 rupees and 1,20,871 rupees. The Jixer SF Moto GP edition is priced at 1,22,900 rupees. Both motorcycles get the same 155cc single cylinder motor which is air cooled and makes 13.4 brake horsepower at 8000 rpm and 13.8 newton meters at 6000 rpm the power and torque output drop marginally from 14 brake horsepower and 14 newton meters on both motorcycles the gearbox too stays the same a five speed unit apart from the changes to the engine to make it bs6 compliant the motorcycles stay exactly the same in all other aspects. Jeep India has announced that it has received an overwhelming number of pre-bookings for the Wrangler Rubicon and that prompted the company to launch it in India at a price of Rs 68,94,000 rupees ex showroom India. The Jeep Wrangler Rubicon for India is a five-door model and Jeep says that the deliveries of the Wrangler Rubicon will begin on March 15, 2020 onwards. The Wrangler Rubicon SUV comes to India as a completely built unit. Under the hood, the Wrangler Rubicon is a 2-litre four-cylinder turbocharged motor that makes 265 brake horsepower and 400 newton meters of peak torque and it is paired to a 8-speed automatic gearbox. The SUV is equipped with 75 passive and active safety and security features. The new Mercedes-Benz E-Class facelift finally breaks covers and it gets a bunch of updates which include a new face, new and electrified engine options and more options. The new E-Class gets a new front end with a slightly revised grille. The bumpers at the front and rear are new and look better and the tail lamps too get a new design. The E-Class now gets a total of 7 engine options including plug-in hybrid units along with petrol and diesel engines. Other updates include extensive revisions to the driving assistance systems and the E-Class range now gets features such as steering wheel hands-off detection, active distance assist, steering assist, active brake assist, active blind spot assist and a parking package which includes a 360 degree camera. The dashboard will see two 10.25 inch screens bonded together as one. The steering wheel itself is new and the MBUX infotainment interface now comes with Linguatronic voice control and augmented reality. We will see the car come to India very soon and we won't be surprised if Mercedes-Benz launch it in India this year itself. We've had 15 years of sheer leadership bringing you the very best of the world of wheels. If you like the best, subscribe to our channel.